Hello everyone, welcome back to Creality, and I'm here to show you and talk today about the K2 Plus, a powerful cutting edge 3D printer that brings powerful features to the consumer 3D market. So uh, let me show you every side of this, let me show you some of the features of it, I'm going to get other people to tell me what they like about it, and we'll even give you some troubleshooting tips if you have problems with your 3D printer, which applies to most 3D printers. Sometimes things don't go right. So let's dive in to the K2 Plus. If you're a hobbyist, a professional, or an educator, the K2 Plus really does offer everything you need to take your 3D printing to the next level. One of the standout features of this machine is its impressive large build volume. Here it is here, 350 by 350 by 350 millimeters. I talk about this so much because it is impressive. So it gives you plenty of space to create larger, more intricate models without being constrained by a small print area. So whether you're working on prototypes, models, or large scale prints, the K2 Plus allows you to print without limits. This mask was printed in two pieces. You can see we've tied it together here. It required a lot of supports to print it, but this was printed in eight colors. CFS stands for Creality Filament System. And here, although you can't see it, there are three of them connected. There's four filaments in this one, four filaments in this one, and there's a cable running down here to the third one. You just can't see it. So you can see the cable coming from the back of the machine. It powers this one here. There's a black cable going up to this one on the left. And then the one on the left has got a cable connecting to the one on the right. And then the one on the right has got one connecting to one on the floor. So this one has got 12 rolls of filament printing this print. So we are able to connect up to four. You could do 16 colors. And so this really opens up so many possibilities. I mean, creative possibilities. That's what we're interested in with the K2 Plus. Of course, the K2 Plus comes equipped with auto self-leveling. All the calibration is done automatically. So when you get the printer, you basically have to take it out of the box, remove all the packing material inside, and then turn it on and let it calibrate. While mine is calibrating, I'm drinking a milkshake. I'm not worried about it. It takes 15 minutes. So you leave the printer alone. It does the auto bed leveling. And then it does input shaping, which shakes the table to see how much vibration there is on its base. And then it can automatically compensate for that while it's printing. So you want to have a sturdy table for this printer, not only because it's big and heavy, but because it moves around quite a lot when it's printing. So there's a lot of movement on a 3D printer. So keep it stable. A perfect first layer is so important in 3D printing. You can see how this one has laid completely flat on the print bed, nice and flat. If you get a first layer that's perfect, you're going to have no troubles. Now, if you notice that your print bed isn't level or your prints are warping at the corners, coming out uneven, redo the auto leveling process. The printer calibrates itself. You can do that automatically. Ensure the printer is on a flat surface and run the auto leveling procedure again to ensure a properly calibrated bed then you should have no problems getting perfect prints like this. Now that you've seen every side of this machine, you can see it is robust, it is durable, this is built to last. There are no plastic parts on this frame. This is all aluminum. This is very solid, it's very heavy. What feature do you like the most? This is something that a lot of people ask me. Let me ask some of my coworkers what feature they like the most. Sungan. What do you like about the K2 Plus? What feature is the best? Uh, it's bigger and more stable and faster. Uh, compared with the K1 Max, it's also quieter because the shell design has been upgraded. 
All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Sun Gang. Okay, so I trust Sun Gang when he tells me something because he does a lot of printing. He printed that mask I showed you earlier. Can you guys hear the noise difference between the door close and the door open? So for what I like the Keto Plus is the how quiet it is. And I think it's, I'm okay with it if I just put it in my room, if it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Hi, guys. I um, tried the Cater Plus for my first time, and I really like the huge size of the Cater Plus combo. And we can have a compression, like this is from K1C, yes. And this is K2Max, so much bigger. How big is it? Uh, 350. This is 220, yes, millimeter. Yeah. We can have it compressions, right? So what I like to the printer, I think it's definitely it's very friendly to the new beginners. So let's show you how to start your first print. It's really easy. You just need to click this file and you can check a little benchy and you can see here the benchy is red and blue but we don't have a red and blue filaments here and the system suggests we use the orange and green so we just need to cancel this and click the print yeah that's it that is really easy to the new beginners to print your first model that's it you just need to wait in. If the power loss recovery doesn't seem to be working on your printer, make sure that it's turned on in the settings feature on the menu. So first of all, it has to be turned on. Make sure your firmware is up to date. And then if you ever have a power outage or something happens with the electricity in your building, then you're not going to lose all the progress on a long print. Perhaps you've seen other videos where people talk about the temperature of the nozzle, the temperature of the heat bed, the temperature of the chamber because it has an active heated chamber. What this does is allow the K2 Plus to print in so many different types of filaments. So it can print in PLA, PTG, TPU, ABS, any filament, even advanced filaments, carbon fiber filaments are possible with the K2 Plus because of these temperature features. So if you're wondering if you can print with your filament, check out the temperatures in the spec sheet and you'll find that the K2 Plus most likely can do it. The CFS can hold most filaments. Uh, many people ask me if TPU can work in a CFS and it just can't. Because TPU, if you use it, you know it's very soft, it's very rubbery, it can't be pushed through such a long distance with the CFS. So the K2 Plus also comes with a spool holder on the side, so you can single load any spool of any filament you want. You don't have to use the CFS all the time. The CFS is a very nice feature to have, to have four filaments loaded at all times, and they don't all have to be PLA. They can be four different types of filaments. You can have two filaments of the same color or four filaments of the same color. If you're doing a large print and you don't want to run out, you can set the printer to automatically change to the next roll after one roll runs out of the same color. This really does open up so many opportunities. If you're experiencing issues with filament jamming, particularly with soft filaments like TPU, consider adjusting the extruder tension or slowing down the printing speed. TPU really needs to be printed a lot slower because it's difficult for any printer to push it through. So that's something that we can do on the K2 Plus. We can adjust things so we can easily use any type of filament. Of course, the K2 Plus can print with the USB on the side. It can also print Wi-Fi direct from your slicer software. So that's what I prefer. I like to send my prints wirelessly to the printer. I slice it in Creality Print 5.1. It's got all the settings preloaded for the K2 Plus. 
It's got all of your profiles for different nozzle sizes even for the K2 Plus. So you just choose the profile you want, slice it in your slicer software, and then push print and it prints directly on the printer. No more walking over to the printer with an SD card, no, but no more trying to find the SD card that you've lost on your desk. Now we're printing wirelessly directly to our printer. I love it. You can also print directly from Creality Cloud app. So now on our phone, we can send the print to the printer wirelessly and monitor the print on our phone as well. We can see the feed from the internal camera. If you have problems with connecting to the printer, make sure that your printer is within range of your router, of course. Make sure the printer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. And if that doesn't work, try turning it off and turn it back on again. That should fix all of your Wi-Fi issues. As far as troubleshooting summary, wiki.creality.com, go to that website, you can find troubleshooting guide. Make sure you keep your firmware up to date on your printers, that will also solve a lot of problems. Use Creality Print, this is the slicer software that has the presets automatically for the K2 Plus. Creality Print 5.1 is amazing. You can color your prints, you can experiment with multicolor printing so well i mentioned a lot of features in the video today we have wide a range of a wide range of filaments that it can use it has Wi-Fi connectivity. It's got the safety features of auto pause with power outage. It's got this large intuitive touch screen. It's got all of the auto calibrations done. It's got the huge build plate. And it comes with the CFS, which is multi-color, multi-filament printing. Up to 16 colors connected to one printer. So all of these factors put together, not to mention the nozzle, which is a unicorn nozzle, I didn't even mention this, not to mention the two active carbon filters at the back, I didn't mention, not to mention the active heated chamber, which I mentioned just briefly, which allows you to use more filaments because now we can keep this at a certain temperature inside. Not to mention the fact that the nozzle will heat up to 350 degrees. Not to mention the fact that it's a sturdy aluminum frame. This is a heavy, hard, solid beast. Not to mention it's got FOC, closed loop motors, so it's quiet. Much quieter than our previous printers. This printer has got all of our new technology put inside it, and that's why it's so big. It needed to be this big to hold all of this new tech. So I'm super excited about the K2 Plus. Uh, and I'm gonna stop this video now because I have some printing to do. I wanna get to work here. So uh, you guys can stay around and watch if you want, but I gotta get to work. Thanks for coming.